Well, I done the test. Did the military snowshoes start my fire? You're going to have to watch this to find out. All right, we're back at it again. It is windy today, but ice fishing today we're doing. This is the only skidoo track in here. Uh, I pretty much broke the trail where I was coming from, but uh, the road, the beginning of the road, well, let's just say I'm at a pickup. I'm at a pickup in the middle of the road, so. It's a bit windy. I'm gonna draw some test holes with uh, this contraption here. You guys might've seen the short I done. And uh, if that don't work, well, I guess it won't be trouting, but we'll be uh, having a ball up. But as you can notice, I didn't park it on the ice, even though Skidoo already went across. I'm checking the ice for myself. So let's do that. So I'm always weary when it comes to ice. I know that this spot right here is usually deep. I can use this spot up here a bit. But uh, I'm gonna go in here now and drill a hole. Of course, I forgot my tripod. There it goes, the maiden voyage. Lots of ice, loads of ice. And that works friggin' deadly. Let me show you guys what it is. So I had an old ice auger that I couldn't get the handle apart. So I decided to chop it off, weld on a ball bearing and weld on an old ratchet. Now I know I'm not supposed to weld the ball bearings. That's why it's pretty much only tacked. But, and if the ice auger comes out to drill, the ratchet should stop it from going down the hole. Let's draw another hole. Alright, I'm gonna go get the skidoo because I feel there's Definitely enough ice to be out here. All right, I'll keep you guys down low for a, a couple of reasons. One, it's really windy, and I don't want to spoil my audio as much as I can. So, as you guys know, I'm a big uh, That's a Spinner fan, and uh, <laughs> this is probably my favorite spinner for this pond. It's the one that's given me the most success. As you look back at the uh, previous videos I've done, I've been here before. I had plans to go to another spot, but uh, it was late getting on the go today. Life gets busy sometimes. As you all know, I'm too happy now to get in here, to be honest. I didn't think I was going to get ice fishing at all, because i got plans for the next two weekends. Our snow is quickly disappearing, but we do apparently have a lot of ice. So let's hope we'll get lots of trips. I had a big one down, bottom of the ice. So meet my new tripod. This is how it works. Pick that up. And 
install tripod. Whatever works, I says. Whatever works. And this is why I bought the new GoPro. So I can be out in this snow, sleet, rain, it don't matter. And I can take you guys along because I've missed out on a lot of content because I was only using my cell phone. Because right now, I'd have my cell phone put away because the snow was coming right down on forecast of the month. So I just took a little walk around, draw some holes. You can see my drill back there. But I don't know what it's found, so I'll take a walk around, draw some holes. That's where I'm gonna have ball up to on this side of the pond. It's a little windy here, but that's where most of the dry woods do, so. I just had a bite. Of course, never had the camera on and whatnot, but hopefully that last hole that I drilled provides with some success. last year first video when you ever caught nothing second video got a nice view sometimes you come here and you get all coins sometimes you get nothing only fresh air and that's good enough for me Skipper, so uh, you're gonna live to see another day. A little tiny thing. Gonna need more than that for me dinner. Nah, I got food brought me anyway. Something, something good. Something a little different, actually. It's a, uh, it's a traditional Newfoundland meal, but I put a twist on it. 
I'm gonna see if I can do it over an open fire. They're here a lot bigger than this. All right, so I said I would, and mainly, most of the reason is I want to see if those are fire starters. That's the Canadian military snowshoes, and apparently, they're made of magnesium. So, in a survival situation, if you scrape that off onto your fire, what you want to start as a fire, that should be one of the best fire starters around. So let's give it a try. Well, some people might call me crazy for doing this. I don't even know how to go about doing it. I'm going to give it a try like this. Let's see. As you see, we got fine flakes of supposed to be magnesium. I am just going to try to take a piece and light it. I just realized it's going to be unfair to do this on 
on that already good tinder or fire starter I should say so let's get it over here as much of it as I can and this Not sure if that's enough, but if I'm using matches and not a ferro rod, it should light. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but let's just say you're not going to leak that with a ferro rod. Maybe you'll need a lot of it. Well, I guess not. Anyway, if any of you guys know what I'm doing wrong, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But if nothing else, I'll go ahead and paint my snowshoes back over. <laughs> Always bring a fire starter. Let's get the fire going. I'm gonna go down and check my line now while I'm waiting for that uh, fire to pick up. No snowshoes, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> See if we got either one. All right, hooks all baited up again. Check that one again shortly. See how far it's doing. Oh yeah. Right, ready to get a bite to eat. So I got something new today. Well, not new. It's new that I cooked down here. The missus come up with it actually. Pick this up because it's a bit warm. What's well, a traditional Newfoundland meal? We're gonna have Tootons, and what I call them is stuffed Tootons. Unfortunately, I can't have a cup of tea. <laughs> My kettle is gone missing. I've looked everywhere for it, I can't find it. And uh, Water kettle is down to the cabin, so I got to stick with a drink from home. Okay, let's get around to go.
this old cook set has seen his day too. So I'll start this off with the usual pieces of bacon. I don't know if you can tell, but I love my bacon, eh? So we're going to fry your bacon up first. That's why I just about to put that on. Make sure he takes all your garbage out. I may cook two or three, I'm not sure yet. Or I may just cook one, I'm not really all that hungry. Now this is what I gotta deal with, instead of a, instead of a cup of tea. Here comes the wind. I'm not sure how I can describe the smells that are coming out of that pan, but the smoke, whew. and I was just going through my backpack and look what I found, tea and sugar, mm. oh well, um, so the last mug I had, the last kettle I had was a Stanley, it come with two cups, recommend something from you on my next kettle because I'm gonna to have to buy a new one. The wind is actually blowing that way. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, leave it in the comments what you think I should buy. All right, I'm gonna transfer this in here for now. And here comes the fun part. Making sticky tootins.
throw some bacon. A bit of cheese. I'll flatten another one out. Press that on top of it. I'm going to do it too. But this Titan dough in this gold is extremely hard to work with. But that's all purpose. I hope the wind ain't affecting my audio too, too much. I don't think it will. This is my first time doing these in the woods. You know it's me and cheese, gotta have me cheese. That's pretty much all the dough I got. There's enough to do too, anyway. This one's gonna be busting at the seams. Stuck together either. So I'm gonna have to stick some oil in that pan. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Burn that one a bit. Just a wee bit. Kind of hard to regulate it on the fire, but that's still going to be good, sure. Looks delicious. Well, it's done. I burned one. I never burned the other one, so I'm still going to eat the both of them because it looks friggin' delicious. Yummy. <clears throat> well, folks, the wind is picking up and the snow is picking up, but I'm still here eating, or about to. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh man, cheesy. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you in on that shot. Look at that. This one's a little bit burnt, but can't blame my cooking skills for that. This game. <laughs> Oh my, my, my. I'm gonna blame the stove for the burnt outings. So I'm gonna finish this up. Clean up this mess. Pick up all my garbage. 
and go back out and try for a trout. So I get everything cleaned up, everything packed up. Pretty much leaving this area the same way I found it, except for what's going to be left of the fire. Um, I put the rest of the wood on the fire because I'm going to go out fishing now and I'll come back up here for a warm up, seeing it's windy and cold out there on the ice. So I'm going to bring this stuff down to the skidoo, let that fire burn, and go out and see if I can't catch a trout. So I wasn't sure what to think about the drill attachment because I'm I'm a do-it-yourself guy and I didn't mind drilling a few holes but I gotta be honest with you since I made this up I fell right in love you can easily take the drill off and I've got oh man a hole there two holes there another one there 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 there's holes all over the place and that's not even a Milwaukee drill so <laughs> No, I gotta say, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> oh man, I want that freaking me tripod for. Have a nice ride or what? Let's try it down here. It's no good either. Try that again. Oh, you got all my worm, look. Not a stain. Well, I got fed, so I didn't do a fruit, I guess. For the wind, this will be a beauty day. Yeah, maybe it was the wind. No wind. Oh, they actually love that spinner. Good old new flan spinner, boy. I'm looking for a lot bigger than that. That's it, boy. And all. Come on. I'm gonna keep you too long. Look at that. Fresh new batteries. 100%. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, I didn't get the meal trade I was looking for. And I also burned my food. And I also learned that I'd freeze it if I had to rely on my snowshoes for a bit of heat. But what I did get today was I got to enjoy the great outdoors. And I'm glad I got to bring you guys along with me. If you made it this far, please, by all means, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until my next adventure, you guys keep straying on her. Thanks for watching.